um, here we start uh, let's start uh, this chapter chap the chapter four uh, about the pure bending uh, what is the pure bending um, basically here is the outlines and uh, this uh, chapter is a little bit long uh, than the previous one so to here we have two components so basically here we're going to go over the from the fundamental of the pure bending uh, the province and then we're going to extend it to other combined a uh, little bit more combined loading and unsymmetric bending etc okay <coughs> so the first one let's uh, take a look at what is uh, pure bending and when it would occur and in which portion so taking this uh, image as one example here is the simulation the simulated and the conditions so the um, the weight here basically simulate is like here if you take the body the free body from this end to this end here so that is the AB and the pounds the weight basically simulated by 80 pounds for example here and supported by the arms near the supporting end here so that is C and D where the hands are so under this case, you can <coughs> say everything is in symmetric for this example, then we can quickly determine the, the reaction that experienced by hands is 80-80 on each side. Okay, so in this segment CD, if you, uh, later on we can do the exercise, in segment CD, basically moment is constant. The moment basically here is equal to 80 times 12 and equal to 960. In this portion CD, really doesn't matter which cross section you pick. For example, if I pick this cross section, and that is a free bar diagram here, okay? So that is the section I pick, and this portion is the free bar diagram I pick here. So this is 80 pounds, and this is 80 pounds, and this is 12 inch. Then you can always find in this section the, the moment equal to 960 pounds inch okay this magnitude really doesn't matter if you choose here choose here choose here choose anywhere in between CD this is always this number so that means happened in segment CD the moment is constant which means bending is constant so we said the segment CD is under pure bending okay pure bending that means the bending moment uh, kept is constant in certain segment of the beam okay so this is our focus and in this chapter in this chapter we're going to uh, study the deformation and strain stress in uh, portions of the beam which is on the pure band <coughs> and here let's take a look at uh, other situation which the portion of the beam is not under pure bending. So for example here we consider this C clamp and here the if this try to clamp something then experience some reaction 150 150 here. So if we look at the portion CC here okay so if we take the free bar diagram so under uh, the equilibrium in vertical direction this is 50 here and then also we take the moment equilibrium then you should be able to find the reactions at the selected cross section is 750 which basically is equal to the force multiplied with the arm so under this case you can see in this sections it not only uh, under the reaction bending but also is subject to the normal loading so for this case then in this selected cr uh, cross section we said this cross section is under uh, eccentric loading. Eccentric loading basically is to account for bending as well as uh, normal loading. This eccentric loading will be studied in the uh, later sections, the sections, and I think section seven or section eight. Okay, and the good way is this: we can decompose these sections. Uh, right now under two kinds of the loading one is pure bending one is the axial loading we can decompose once we learned how to deal with the uh, the study how to deal with the, the stress due to the pure bending then we can deal with this one then also the axial loading is the topic we have learned in in chapter two 
So basically, we can decompose the calculations and to account for this combined loading case. Okay, so we're going to have an exercise in the later sections shortly. <coughs> um, another situation of the beam which is not on the pill bending is like this. Okay, here I just raised examples. There's a zone. Uh, numerous examples but here I try to uh, raise the second one here is a cantilever beam at its free end there's a point loading here so if we pick a cross section say at C here then here we uh, want to know what is it. the first step is to calculate reaction at cross section here and the force by taking the force equilibrium we know at the cross selected cross section there's a vertical force and also taking the moment equilibrium, we know the M equal to P times X, okay? So here we have two such uh, loading on the selected cross section here. So again, this is the another uh, examples of we call the combined loading. So again, and here this combined loading can be decomposed into uh, the two loading case and this is section selected cross section and one is under bending the other one is under the uh, loading p okay so this is the topic of we are uh, learning in chapter four and this is a topic we will going to learn in chapter six in chapter four we're going to learn how to calculate the stress due to the pure bending in chapter in chapter six we in chapter four, okay. In chapter six, we're going to learn how to determine the shin stress due to this kind of the transverse loading. So combining the results together, then that can be used to represent the, the status of the stress in this section. And again, this is another example which is for a beam is not on the pure bending, but here it kind of give a head up, and that is the topic we will be able to handle it and later on once we finish our chapter 6. <coughs>